everyone. I just got home from a week in Oregon, and I came home to an amazing amount of boxes from Amazon that added up to 72 books. The most books that we've received for ECBC in a single week. I, I'd like to do my specific thank yous at the end of the month like I've been doing, but I do have to give a big thank you to my mom's class of 1995, Dartmouth classmates, because they donated so many of the books we got this week. Thank you! So here's book look number 101. The, tel the title of tonight's book is The Mightiest by author Kiko Ka Kaza. This is one of our family's very favorite read alouds. It was when we were in preschool, and it still is. In fact, when I picked it up to read to my siblings, my dad saw it and said, Oh, I love that book. Who is the mightiest animal in the forest? The bear, the lion, or the elephant? This is the story of three forest animals who find the crown in the middle of the forest that says, For the mightiest. They argue over who deserves the crown, and they decide to figure out who is the mightiest by seeing who can scare the little old woman the most. They... All try to scare her, but they still argued about who did, who did the biggest scare. While they are arguing, a, gi a, a gigantic giant comes along and declares that he's the mightiest. He's about to throw them off a cliff to prove it when the little when when the little old lady comes and says, "George, how many times have I told you not to pick on poor helpless creatures?" The giant some. The giant suddenly obeys the little woman, and the, the animals decide to give the crown to the little old lady because they think she just proved that she's, in fact, the mightiest. But actually, she put it down because she, she doesn't need the crown. This is such a fantastic story. It's fun and clever and warm-hearted with such a good message. There are actually, there are actually several messages that are, that are great to discuss, but I think the most important one is that you don't need a crown or a jewel or a label to be the mightiest or the coolest or the best, but, but it's who you are on the inside and your actions that determine who you are. I really love the resolution to the problem of the story, and it has a perfect ending. With the crown being left for the next group of creatures that are coming by to argue over. Which leaves the reader really eager to make predictions as they close the book. Please donate this wonderful picture book to the library that ECBC is building at Chalk Children's Hospital. It's a great book for volunteers to read aloud and also has a simple enough text for beginning readers to read themselves. Thank you!